What is best in life? Today we join Emer Moose, uh, Emer Moose Jaws, Emer of Dabaristan, on his quest to become King of Dalan and to become eventually Soyoshant, the Zoroastrian savior of myth and legend. As the Zoroastrian Persian Empire has been overrun by the Abbasid Sunni Muslims, uh, we will be attempting to reverse the course of history, and instead of having 95% uh, of Zoroastrians convert to Sunni Muslimhood in the next two or three centuries, we will attempt to fight back and establish a Zoroastrian Sayoshant or savior in the uh, lands of Persia. And you're joining us in the middle of the war for the kingdom of Daylam. Uh, this is the Durge Kingdom, a uh, Jure Kingdom of Delam here. I currently hold. Let me see here. In the Jaws Satrapy, Abbasid Empire. Oh, we need to go De Jure. There we go. So here's the Kingdom of Delam. I need to control 51% of the De Jure, uh, De Jure counties to create this title. Currently, I control 43%. 7 out of 16. I'm on my way, I believe, to uh, barely scraping my to acquire uh, the 8th. However, if you notice, that will give me 50%, not 51%. So I'm trying to go for a trifecta. And with this same group of mercenaries that I've hired, even though I'm running out of money, I am trying to uh, vassalize. I'll try to use the vassalize Casas Belli on uh, Dehistan. And I am currently at war with the satrap of Tabriz. Or what's the satrapy's name? Uh, the Barmakid satrapy. I only have a 46% war score because I did lose one battle with them. But we'll get underway. And I will slow the game down a bit. And I have two children who lack an education focus. Now the satrap ran away with his army all the way down here to Jerusalem for some reason. And there he is now, the army of... That's the Barmakid Satrapi. He's down to 716 troops. Yes, that's him. So I'm here at 1,896. So I will check my war score. It's only 49%. And that's... I've relieved... He did uh, actually besiege and uh, occupy part of Dalem. I removed the uh, occupiers from Dalem, so now it's just that one battle that he beat me in that's giving me a better war score. My Dirk Pat comes to see me one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring in exotic groups by setting up a trade route. This is something I want to do, but I don't have the money right now. This would, of course, require a sizable monetary investment, but the potential profits would also be great. Let's organize an expedition. The money, my money has better uses. I have only 200 gold and I've already borrowed from Jewish money lenders. I have to say no, even though I desperately want to do this. That's the entire reason I took the business focus was to do this. But I thought this war would be over by now, to be honest. So uh, how's my siege going? I'm going to besiege one, two of three holdings. Great, my wife Tanaz is pregnant. That's fantastic. I get a prestige bonus. And he is going to Tabriz. A group of craftsmen has come to court to show off their work. They present me with fine goods, none of which, of which you are sure there would be a demand in the realm. Noticing your interest, the craftsmen ask for some capital to start a workshop, saying they lack the funds to do it on their own. Lose 50 gold. I can't afford it yet. No, your lack of funds is not my problem. This is not what I wanted to do. But nevertheless, it's what I'm doing. Now, this seed, the final siege will be over in 36 days, another month and a half, so that will cost me, oh, my monthly balance is only negative, uh, about a half a gold piece. Actually, I'm going to siege down this holding. I'm going to attack him into Breeze. And I keep losing the leader of this band of mercenaries. He's managed to jump up to a thousand for some reason, but my army should still be able to conquer him. 
although he's got good defensive bonuses, that still should be quite within my ability. His flank has collapsed. He's just got the center left. Although my center collapsed as well. It's just my flank that's holding on. Oh, well, he didn't do too badly out of that, actually. Uh, two children lack an education focus. Uh, let's see, timid. Learning, learning. Uh, Marshall. Oh, this is the son. Uh, I will give him... Is he my son, my half-brother? I will give him a martial education in the hopes of forming a... A uh, band of a mercenary band with him when he gets old enough. After I made another courtier cry, the third one in a short week, I felt embarrassed. Is this really who I am? A cruel man who likes to hurt people. Who am I kidding? I like cruel, intrigue plus one, kind. I'll go for 45% chance of kind, but it doesn't look like I gained the kind trait. And all right, this war is over. I got 100% war score. So I have usurped uh, the jaw, uh, the Tabriz satrapy. Now I will head over here to let go of my to let go of my liege levies, and then I will see about Dahiristan if he still qualifies. Do I still have a vassalization? Uh, He's defending against heathens now, so that will require 100 piety. Do I have that? Yes, I do. Okay, so declare war. I just have to reduce my army levies, and then I can use my vassalization cost of spelly because he's a weak independent Zoroastrian, and I can bring him under the warm protection of the Zoroastrian uh, crown. And now what other child has a focus? My half-sister. Let's see here. Conscientiousness, stewardship, diplomacy, uh, learning, plus two. So we'll try uh, learning education. Conscientiousness. What's conscientiousness? Great. Stewardship, plus one. Um, I'll try the learning. And then assign a guardian who hopefully, even though it's not the stats that they inherit from the person who teaches them hopefully the traits and the stats go hand in hand so there we go and fantastic a son was born and i will name him elg in honor of his slain brother and try to keep this one alive and there we go i have an heir and he should inherit his mother's uh, titles, and if only I could cast a horoscope or something for him, so I could figure out what... Can I join the Hermetic Society? None of these must be true. I must have a learning equal or greater than 10, and my learning score is horrible. It's 5, and I'm not growing through my business focus because I didn't have the money to take advantage. Oh, wait a minute here. I've got to get on this, so now I have to release these levies. Okay, now I will declare war, force vassalization. And do I even need to raise the levies again? I'll move into uh, Dihistan to try to take the levies. Open council position. Oh no, my spy master. I wish I was getting messages or I'm not recognizing my messages on why I'm losing these people. This spymaster hates me. This one likes me. So unfortunately, I'm going to go... I'm going to go with the one that likes me. And get her scheming. Even though she's only nine, which I, means I have a good chance of getting assassinated. My spymaster is idle. Scheme. Scheme your little heart out. My Dirk Pat has collected a special tithe of 108 gold. I could have uh, done some of those business chain events anyway to raise my business uh, uh, acumen, 
and my statistics. Now, I'm hoping this Manichean Uprising has nothing to do with me, although it does, obviously, because they're red and hostile to me. I hope they don't uh, end up attacking my troops before I siege down Dihistan. And these are all mercenary troops. Now, can I usurp? Uh, this woman hates me, and she is one of my powerful vassals. Uh, Demesne, too big, raised levies, short reign, title clement, envious. Can I withdraw, revoke? Grant landed title, revoke title, the sheikdom of Alamut. This will lower uh, Shakaya Banafesh's opinion of you by negative 60 and her other vessel vassals by negative 15. Now, how many troops can she raise? Only 655. So, uh, I may do that and take the negative hit to it. Although, which sheikdom would I like in best Alamut or Galan? Let me check the de jure duchies. Alamut is in Tabaristan. It's Dalem that I would really like. Uh, Astrobad, Herbad Alandin is doing a superb job. I am having trouble with the town and castle in Urbid, and I shall, of course, send my Astrobad, Herbad Alandin to try and increase the relationship between them and us. But which should I start with? Uh, let's try the town. City Vassal Opinion, plus 25. One title can be created, the Duchy of Galan. Does creating the title do me any good? Yes, because it will. I will need to control at least two duchy titles uh, in order to create the Kingdom of Galan. And I... Victory... And these are mercenaries. Should I just be... Yes, I'll just siege them. I'll just attack. There we go. A message about offer peace. We surrender under these terms. I gain a thousand prestige from war contribution. Marzurban Badad lose a hundred prestige. And I will become your new liege. I accept. That's all I wanted. And I won the Jaws Satrapy. Now I have my Demesne is too large. Can I now create uh, the land? Duchy of Galan. It will give me 200 prestige and cost me 188 gold. Who is. I've created the Emirate of Galan. My half sister might fa fancy me. I think Parvin might fancy me. Oh, what the heck. It's Crusader Kings. I will go to Parvin's chamber. Perhaps she just wants to play checkers. And now... I need... I have 56. I cannot afford the cost of 188 gold. I went to Parvin's chamber and give her a good tumble. It's good to be Emir. Now, this woman... While I have the mercenaries raised... Do I... Luckily, her intrigue is only four. I'll revoke a title... Sheikdom of Delan, maybe? Is she going to accept? I thought I revoked her title, yet nothing's happening. I humbly accept your decision to revoke the Sheikdom of Delan, though it grieves me greatly. And... Alright, so I've weakened the vassal that hates me now. What are the opinion of my vassals? Negative a hundred. Negative a hundred. Uh, one morning I awake to find an envoy from the Tang Empire has arrived and wishes to speak with me. Greetings to the pious Emir Moose Jaws. May good health be with you. I am Zhejun, Zhejunji, and I have come bearing treasures from the Middle Kingdom to barter and trade on behalf of Emperor Lai Dezong. Does this matter interest you? Uh, the Emperor... Uh, is always in need of more eunuchs. Take uh, Sadadan. Yes. 
uh, Jin Junji nods his head and bows. The emperor will be most pleased with this. You are truly our pious emir. As Zhu Jinji departs, I move to inspect my newly acquired hand treasure. What a magnificent trinket. I shall certainly put it to good use. An artifact is added to my inventory, and I gain 100 grace with the Tang Empire. So what artifact? Ceremonial robes. Monthly prestige, plus 0.5, and diplomacy, plus 1. Those are excellent. Do I have to uh, wear them? No, I just have to be an adult. A set of traditional Chinese robes used in diplomatic functions. The wearer of these robes stands out and projects an air of power and authority. During my stay at the court of a noble in her bid, I have done my utmost to present my liege in a favorable light, but sinister forces around me seem to conspire to twist and turn my every action into something dubious and every spoken word into an insult. It seems... I have failed miserably. Sabotage relations with my lord. I'm Grand Vizier of the Abazid Empire. Oh. Alright. I forgot I was Chancellor. Uh, okay, so. I need to gain gold. I have uh, eight titles. Now, what titles do I have exactly? I have the Walia of Mazuleth, the, uh, the Varam of Talias. So where are my family? They need to... Okay, my child, my son can definitely take over one of these. Sheikdom of Delan. Uh, six, I need to get rid of two. What are these? Uh, Varam? Okay, I'm not going to make my son a Varam because he therefore won't be able to get married. I made that mistake once. Now, what about my other siblings? My half-brother. Now, my half-brother is already... Uh, Urbad of Amanabad. But he's unmarried, so I can give... Can I give him the other Varam? There we go. So his opinion of me is 32. Or bad and Landon, so he's granting me nine piety per month, or 0 0.9, 0 0.09 actually. Uh, as your efforts of gaining wealth grow all the more determined, you sleep less and less, and sleeping is not a profitable behavior. I must have more gold. I gain the stressed trait, which is not fantastic. So now I just have one holding that I need to dispense with. And what is the Walia of Musa? Walia. Where is it? Walia of Muzaleth. Um, line of succession, my brother. So it is in Galan, city, Aram. Walia of Muzaleth. So that's that's a that's a castle, isn't it? Yes, it is. It would be nice to hang on to that for the um, for the extra levy that it grants me. As it's a castle holding, or shall I just give it to my son? Yes, I'll give it to Elg. There we go. Now I should uh, dispense with these. I should have dispensed with. I'm done for now with the hired levies. Yes. And now I will see how my income goes. My income is now plus 20 gold pieces per month. After I told Nazgul it was time to head on home, she looked at me with a grin on her face and told me to race her home, leaving me to carry everything on my own. Race her? I'll race her. Nazgul never seems to be grumpy, always playing without a care in the world. Whoever is Nazgul, it will change. Now, let's... Uh, my relationships with my vassal. Uh, she hates me. Now, why does he hate me? Because I defeated him in a war. Declared War 25, defeated me. Raise revoked vassal titles. Short reign, want seat on council. Oh, but the Wally here. The defensive pact. Yes, what packs do I have? I have a non-aggression. Why is he so negative towards me? Refused option of guardianship, lost award, foreigner, I lost award. These messages, I guess I'm not keeping close enough attention to my uh, 
Oh, the local thieves guild has been eradicated thanks to the wise stewardship of Gurgan. And... Now this satrap is independent. He definitely... Uh, come March 13th, I'll definitely be taking a crack at his lands. Now... Where else in Delam? This emir has a liege, unfortunately, the Sultan of Trans Orkan, but he only has 900, 1,000 levies. Does this mean he actually top levy of total liege, total levy of top liege, 1,569? How did that get to that? 1,000. So his levies are coming back. He just fought a war. Young Adela has finished her education in the war ways of war. It seems she has learned all the basic skills required. War? Her? Oh. Why are we teaching a girl about war? Now, I hope I haven't permanently lost my opportunity to increase my uh, stewardship statistic by declining those the uh, t chance to build up Oh, and I really should eject the Jews. Thank you very much for... Why can't I expel the Jewry? I need 100 prestige. Diplomacy negative two. Uh, should I just maybe... I gain 555 gold though. Lose 100 prestige? I have 100 prestige to learn. Why can't I do this? Oh, I have to be an independent ruler. So it looks like I'll actually have to repay the loan. Well, all right. So what negative modifier am I getting because of this? Because of my loan. Temple vassal opinion, negative 10. But my temple vassals don't appear to have much truck with me anyway. Revoked vassal titles, raised levy, short reign, seniority succession, owes money lenders. One children, Alandin Farazdi Jaws. My nephew, he, I will give a martial education as well. And see about an arranged betrothal. Oh, here we go. Uh, someone quick, actually. I'll see if my son can marry the uh, quick one. My son. For some reason, the quick child isn't showing up. Uh, would gain me Wally Elg. Malia. Is she like a relative of my brother? This is just gross. Now let's see here. Uh, if there's any good alliances to be gained. If there's no alliances and there's no child with the quick trait. Why was the quick trait showing up for the other child? Uh, send Tanaz into hiding to protect my wife. I need to keep having children with her, though. And actually, I also need to... Uh, trading post of Tabriz, 40... Oh, well, my Gazwin has swollen to 57 gold. I guess that's because China has doubled. The value of trade from China has doubled. I have 100 grace. How else? I don't want to kowtow because that would take too long. Can I send a eunuch? Offer up one of your courtiers. I'll send another eunuch. He doesn't like me much anyway. And he doesn't have great stats. So yes, I'll send him as a eunuch. Has embraced a dangerous heresy. I think that's the guy I just sent out as a eunuch. Yes, my Aaron Spazblood. Demand reconversion. So I have 260 grace. Recently sent a eunuch. The heavenly Lai Chu, Emperor Daozong of the Tang Empire, has graciously accepted your gift. We are bound to find work for a man with the physique of Khazar. The generosity of the Jaws dynasty will not be forgotten. Peace deals, Abbasid Empire. Uh, Pratahara Revolt. Dislikes Buddhists, likes wealth, of course. Ask for a boon. What boons can I ask? Request Chinese physician. Uh, request a peace deal. Request a Chinese artifact. I must have 500 grace. 
must be an independent ruler. Request siege engineers. 750 grace. Request strategist, a commander trait. 750 great. Scholar bureaucrat, 1000 grace. Will reduce my build cost and build time. Request master engineer, uh, which will improve my demesne with a powerful province mo uh, modifier. A Chinese master engineer. Request trade contract. I'll speed this up a bit as I'm really in holding mode. Oh, and what else do we have here? Uh, request invasion. Ask the Tang Empire to declare war on another ruler with the intent of shattering the realm. If the war succeeds, any kingdoms or empires held by the target will be forcibly destroyed. China only attacks realms of either king or empire tier, which contain at least 40 count counties, as anything else would be too menial for them with 5,000 grace, and request imperial marriage will grant me 500 prestige as well as give me a peace treaty with China. The spouse of an imperial princess or prince will be able to raise a regiment of honor guards when at war. Well, that's definitely something. Uh, same di spouse requirements, one of these must be true. Same dynasty as the Emir Moose Jaws of the Jaws Satrapy is a close relative of Emir Jaws. So I have to send him a spouse or something and then I can get an imperial marriage uh, I need a thousand grace anyway uh, laying waste to Gurgan Castle and Gurgan wasn't enough for the underhanded Baghatur his troops also managed to find and steal one of my prized possessions oh no I got invaded oh crap let me check did he get my robe no he didn't get my robe who is this guy? Bagater's host. Ah, uh, dangerous factions have arisen. I haven't been paying attention. I'll have to uh, Bagater's host. I'll have to get rid of this guy. I only have a thousand. I only have a thousand liege, levy, liege levies. However, can I hire some more mercenaries yet again? I didn't want to so soon. Will these guys just move on now that they've done this? 2009. I can hire 1,750. They'll probably get defeated. I'll hire them and I'll raise my levies and see what happens young Barad has finished his education in the ways of war it seems he has learned all the basic skills that's all right a tough soldier as long as he is of my line uh, will make a good mercenary captain. Barad usually tries to stay out of the way of others. He shouldn't try too hard. He might become content. Uh, yeah, I'll try to become content. Because if you're content, you're not going to run away with my all my soldiers. Betrothed can marry. Yes. Open council positions. My marshal. Yeah, he's the guy I just made a eunuch. Tough for him, really. Um... Feet. And I guess I need to appoint I need to appoint a captain, minor titles, show commanders only. I can appoint two more commanders. Uh, you and none of you are that great. A Landon, my uh, brother, sure send him, although I really don't want to lose my brother in combat. There we go. And get things on the road again. Sped up a little bit. And we come to this episode uh, with this unexpected raid on the uh, way to becoming the King of Day Lamb. 
Uh, this is episode 12. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notification of my other videos. And I hope you have a good day.